So how do men get rich? They get rich in this world. How do they get rich in this world? Business, investment, trade, career, job, politics. These are all systems that this world has designed where you offer services, innovation, and creativity and you are rewarded for what contribution you make to the betterment of humanity. That reward is what culminates into wealth, into riches, and into possessions. That is not given to you by God directly, even though God set the planet for you to engage and make the money. You went to school. You went to be trained. Most of the things that were used in training you were written by non-Christians, atheists, people who don't care about God, wrote most of the textbooks that you use in school to study how to serve the world system. And then you graduated, got a job, gave yourself to industry, gave yourself to business. And by productive reasoning and productive contribution to humanity, you got money in exchange for what you offered. Is that true? That's how you make money. Sit down in the church first and pray poverty and hunger will kill you and you will be buried. You don't get money by prayer and fasting. You get money by industry. That's why he says, charge them that are rich in this world. It is you that will get rich. God doesn't make you rich. Charge them that are, they are the ones that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, but trust in the living God who enables us with capacity to be able to distribute. It takes the grace of God to make your money and distribute your money to people. It takes the grace of God for you to be a blessing to people. Yeah. It takes the grace of God. So you charge them prosperity is not evil there's nothing wrong with you making money and getting wealthy it's not evil at all but never let anyone give you any spiritual principle to prosperity you didn't hear that prosperity is not evil but never let anyone give you any spiritual principle to prosperity there is no such spiritual principle it is a deception so what does God give us richly? He gives us richly the capacity to do good works. Because by saying he gives you richly all things, if he was the one giving you richly all things in verse 17, it will have been a contradiction. Because he says you are rich in this world. See, let me read it again so that you now get the full picture. First Timothy 6, 17 and 18. Charge them that are rich where? In this world. That they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. What does God give us richly to enjoy? Next verse. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. That is the one God does, which is spiritual capacity. But the previous verse, it is you that gets rich in this world. Someone says, but the Bible says, he makes the sun to shine on the good and the wicked. That's not a prosperity scripture. If you think it is, then why don't you stay under the sun from morning till evening and by the end of the day, you go home with one million naira. So it's not a prosperity scripture. That verse is about God's kindness. Showing us how to reflect his kindness in how we treat others. 